Hello everyone, this is Rodolfo Silva, and let's talk about how to change the language on ZBrush for iPad. So to change the language, all you need to do is change the preferred language and region on your iPad device. So let's say I have ZBrush open right here, and you see all the menus and all the palettes, sub palettes and buttons are in English. So let's say I want to change this to something else like German, Spanish or Japanese. So all you have to do is open up your settings on the iPad and then type in a language and then just access the language and region settings. After you do that, there's a section on the top that says preferred language. And all you have to do is drag over your preferred language to the top. Now the system will ask you to restart your iPad in order to apply that language. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now once we do that, you can see that the iPad itself has changed from English to Spanish. Now if I go back into ZBrush, it's relaunching ZBrush. If I open up any project that I have or start a new project, and you go over to your menus, you can see that the palettes are now rebranded or renamed to Spanish. Same thing goes with the buttons. Obviously, some of the tools and features are still in English because it's, it's more of a tool name rather than an actual term in a specific language, like insert multi-mesh and IMM is still an IMM. A subtool is still a subtool. But other than that, every other menu you can see here, it's basically translated into Spanish. Alternatively, you can also change the language for a specific app, in this case, ZBrush or iPad. So let's say you want your system to be in English. Let's say you're learning a new language or you feel more comfortable with the system being one language and a specific app being a separate language. What you can do is you can go over to the settings and then just scroll all the way down to apps and search for ZBrush. And under ZBrush, there's a language setting and then you have to pick your language over here. So this is gonna set the default language for ZBrush specifically and not change the language of the entire device. So I hope this video was useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.